Hey everybody, uh, today is uh, day one of our summer reading plan and our soap journals. Uh, summer in the Miners as we go through the Minor Prophets this summer at Journey. And today we're reading uh, two chapters, one from the Old Testament, one from the New. Uh, from the Old Testament, we're reading Hosea chapter 1, and from the New Testament, Matthew chapter 1. This summer we're going to go through all 12 of the Minor Prophets, as well as all four of the Gospels, which is great because the Minor Prophets are all pointing to Jesus. And so I did my soap journal a little bit ago, and I just wanted to share it with you uh, as a way to maybe give you an idea of how the soap journal works if you've never done this before and bring some encouragement to you as well. Uh, the verse that I chose today, the scripture I chose in our soap model S is uh, verse 10 of Hosea chapter one. It says this, yet a time will come when Israel's people will be like the sands on the seashore, too many to count. Then at the place where they were told, you are not my people, it will be said, you are children of the living God. And that scripture stuck out to me uh, because when you read, and this is my observation, the O in soap, my observation is that uh, the first few verses of chapter one of Hosea are pretty heavy. God tells Hosea, who is a prophet of God, he says, go and marry a prostitute. And he marries a woman named Gomer. And they start to have children. And, the ch and he said, God said, the reason I want you to marry a prostitute is he said, that's an example of the, the way that she's an unfaithful woman. Uh, Israel has been unfaithful to me. And they have kids, they name them things like not loved and not my people and all of these things are happening. And then, so it's pretty heavy. But in verse 10, that little phrase that starts it out, yet a time will come. It was, And then God says someday he's going to reunite Israel and Judah and he's going to make them a great nation. He cut, says you won't even be able to count them. It'll be like counting sand on the seashore. It's that promise and hope. It reminded me that um, God gives them that promise that one day they'll be restored. His ultimate goal is not punishment. It is repentance and restoration. And what I wrote down for A, for the application of my life was this. There are times in life when I am unsure what God is doing, why things are keep happening in my life or what is going on in the world around me. But I have learned to trust that yet a time will come and I will see God's plans unfold. That's a hope for all of us that in, even in difficult moments, we can say, you know what? I know that there's a time is gonna come. God is going to somehow take these things. You know, the New Testament says that uh, all things work together for good to those who love God and are called according to his purpose. It doesn't say all things are good, but it says all things work together for our good. And God does that in our lives. My prayer today, the letter P in soap was this, God, in times of difficulty and frustration, help me to keep praying, keep going and keep believing that that time, yet that time is going to come. And that's my prayer for all of us. Let me pray for you and then we'll wrap this up. God, I pray that this summer as we study the, the scriptures, as we look at the Old Testament, the Minor Prophets, and as we look at the Gospels of the New Testament, we would see how they come together. Or this, this idea that there's going to be times of difficulty and challenge. There's also going to be times where you're going to need to bring correction into our lives or to our, our, our nation, God. And at the same time, we have that hope that a time is coming. When, you, when your promises will be fulfilled in our lives. We trust you and believe you for that. Lord, I pray for everybody that as we read the, the, your word this summer, that you would speak to us, that you would grow us, that you would not just bring information, but you would bring transformation. We give all these things to you in your name. Amen. Thanks a lot. Look forward to talking to you guys tomorrow.